Hey, what's up YouTube? This is CJ. Gonna give you guys a quick look at the reef tank. I'm also gonna take some time and go ahead and do a review on my lighting system. I've been using them long enough and I figured it's some information you guys are looking for, especially since I've been getting a lot of questions here lately. Now I would say the tank's been running for a little over eight months. So that's pretty much how long I've been using these lights. And these are the only lights I've had on this reef tank and the only lights I plan on having. I learned a hard lesson on my first reef tank, if you guys remember, switching up my lighting system halfway through. And I'll kind of tell you guys what happened with that. But long story short, pick some lights that you want to keep on your tank and don't plan on changing. That's a big, big thing, a big tip I can give you guys right off the bat. But we'll talk about that later. Let's go ahead and focus on these lights, give you guys a quick look at them. So here we go. Excuse the camera, you know, I got the flash on to see if I can get some more light on this for you. But these are gonna be the Ocean Revive T247 full spectrum LEDs. Pretty well constructed. I mean, um, I like the material they're made of. It's not really hard metal. It's a smooth finish and it's rounded on the ends. You know, I say it's a step up from the normal Chinese light. A lot of people have in the hobby, you know, nothing wrong with them. I actually had success with them on my last tank. But this one, just a, st a step higher, I would say, on the construction. Really well made. Now, with plugs being at a premium whenever you're running a reef tank, and you guys know what I mean, only having one plug required for this light is a huge plus for me. You know, it's not dealing with two plugs or, you know, timers or any other other crap you have to add with a reef tank. This light has it all included. Now the mounts on top, they just screw in, which is pretty, you know, I, I like that idea a lot better than the hooks. Feels really sturdy and secure, really solid. Now, as far as the uh, hanging kit that comes with it, unfortunately, the T247B, the newer version, it does include the, uh, the mounts that you can hang it right on the tank or the legs. This one came out before it, so you only have the ceiling mounts. One cool thing about it is that it is adjustable as far as raising it up. It's kind of a slip, uh, slip system. I don't know what you call it, really what the name is. But you basically have to pinch the end to release the cord. And as you pull it, pull it up, it automatically locks into place. Now it also has the ability of tilting forward and backwards if you unscrew the screw on the bottom I'm not going to do it because i don't want to have to go through my lights being readjusted as you can tell i had some difficulties holding the camera but i just have it screwed into the ceiling with a normal pot holder you know the light's only five pounds you know it's a lot of flowers that hang from the ceiling to weigh a lot more than that so i've had no issues light to secure you know i have no worries as far as this not holding up or you know falling out of the ceiling now i'm going to take a second and go ahead and cover the main reason i purchased these lights and it's gonna be its functionality. A really nice unit. It does include a remote, standard power button, you know, your menu button to go through your settings. And it has quick options for the on off settings for each channel. Channel one being your blue or atenic, channel two being your white or full spectrum. Now, if you ever forget what times you have saved, just hit the demo button on the bottom right and it runs you through each time. Now, as you can see mine, I have my blue lights coming on at 11.20 a.m. and I have them going off at midnight. Well, a little after midnight. Now I have my white lights on my full spectrum coming on close to one o'clock and going off around nine o'clock at night. Now that's optimal time for me. You can set your lights from whatever time of day you want. You know, as long as your tank, your tank comes on consistent every day, you know, you're good to go. Now I will say uh, this unit is a little confusing with the power settings. Uh, the number you have it on is not the actual wattage or percent of power you're using. Me, I have it currently set at 30%, well, yeah, close to 30% from our whites, which is actually 50% of the power. And I have my blues set at 45, which is closer to 65% of the whites available. So it's a little confusing, but I did copy this down below in the, in the uh, actual description to kind of explain what each percentage is on these lights. But other than that, it's pretty consistent. I mean, this thing, I've never had to reset it really easy to change with the remote and if you lose the remote hey no biggie it has a knob on the front you can kind of go through each setting on here you click the knob in to change each setting you want to get to twist the knob left and right to adjust the power or the time you want so 
pretty easy you know anyone can do it if you have any confusion if you have this light drop me a comment and i can kind of help explain to you how to use it but once you get it set up you really don't have to worry about it or touch it again honestly even if you unplug the power on the unit it saves your settings which is really cool plug it back up you just keep rolling like nothing happened i've had some power glitches and believe me i was worried about that and it never was a problem Go ahead and look at the tank from the top down and i think this is my first time recording the tank from this angle honestly i don't look at it much with the pumps off but i need to start doing it a little more this thing is really popping man but i will tell you right off the bat you see the reflection from the leds it will make you think that you would see that inside the tank and in all honesty you would see it if you have the lights too low and that is a fact i will tell you that but at 12 inches it blends seamlessly you don't see any specific spots, any specific color shining in the tank. I promise you this reflection means nothing as far as what it really looks like in person. Unfortunately, you know, this phone, it doesn't do well with the blues. And honestly, I didn't turn the blues down for this vid. This is the real true color I have my tank set at. And as you can tell, it's really doing the job for me. Now, it's pretty much going to cover the details with this light. Now, as far as my overall thoughts, I would say I'm very satisfied, especially for the price and the value. I purchased these on sale. Uh, for around $140. Right now, they're going for anywhere between $170 and $200, which I think is still a good value. Then, you know, there's different lights. There's Kessels. There's, you know, there's other things. Personally, I've seen those Kessels and other lights in person. This light, pound for pound, can compete with it power-wise and spread. Spread, more importantly, uh, especially with a tank like this. I mean, trust me, it gets the job done. Now, it doesn't give you the shim over Kessel, but, you know, it's a lot cheaper. I will say uh, a word of advice for anyone that's thinking of purchasing these lights. They do not have a ramp feature. That's the only knock on them. The lights come on at the power you have set at the time you have set. No kind of gradual just pops on the power, you know, the power setting you have it for. So that's the only thing I would add to these lights. But other than that, pretty happy growing my corals, my euphilias, my GSP, my SPS. This light can grow everything. And as you can tell, my tank is really blossoming under it. No issues. So. I'm going to cut this vid a little short. If you guys have any other questions or anything, drop a comment down below. But hey, definitely like, comment, subscribe. You guys do what y'all do. And if you haven't had a chance to check out my filtration video last time, I'm going to put a quick link. Just click on it and enjoy that vid as well. Y'all be easy. Happy reefing.